Hello, hello, my friends, and welcome to my YouTube channel. And uh, if you're new, extra welcome, of course. And uh, yeah, so this is the art journal spread that I have made, and I really like it. Uh, I know I usually say that, but that's not always the case. Um, and I made this out of rice papers, and uh, yeah. So you see I have a spread here that is kind of messed up from the beginning. Uh, so I'm just, I don't want it that way today. So I'm just gonna add some white gesso on it. Sometimes I just roll with the background that I already have. But I wanted to fade it away more here. So this is a very pretty rice paper that I found in my stash. And yeah. I just wanted to use it today and I love working with rice papers they are so nice to work with and I'm actually using my transparent homemade transparent gesso to add the rice papers here and as you see the background kind of yeah it's visible anyway but I don't mind that I have to work with it I'm adding a bit more white though but it's still visible a bit but it's okay like that and I'm gonna use my new stamps that I received uh, they are from um, Prima Marketing Finnebear and it's kind of background kind of tiny but nice background stamps I just want some something happening in the background and this is a stencil that I really love. It's from Panduro, my workplace. And uh, yeah, it's kind of the honeycomb thing is. I'm using it, using it with the modeling paste here today. On some places. And of course I have tried it and then I add some water and then I add my, uh, I love this one, it's Dilutions Pure Sunshine, I think it's called. Uh, because I want some yellowish color here, it's not what I usually go for but, and this green is actually from Lindis, it's a Lindy spray and it's called Sea Mint Green I think. I just go for the colors that I see I think will match the with the rice papers. I could have chosen watercolors also, but today I wanted to use those sprays. And just some more yellow splatters. And some more. <laughs> So it's just a trial, you have to try and see, check the effect and even check after it has dried because it changes the colors of course when it dries. And now I'm going to use my new stamp. They are from Stampendous. Uh, so I really like those as for background thingies. And this is another one from them. And as you already maybe know, I usually don't work with a plan. I just make things up as I go along. And this is another stamp, but it's one that I've made myself. Uh, one of my homemade stamps, and it's also a honeycomb uh, kind. I just used some... Um, um, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, craft foam and I added some, um, it's kind of a metal ribbon and uh, it's a nice stamp out of it. And now I'm just hand lettering some words and I'm using my um, Tombow brush pen for this. And I just wanted to write something intuitive. I'm just adding some more white on some places because uh, I want the text to be more protruding I want it to be more visible uh, and on some other places I just add the white for some softness to the spread with my fingers as you see uh, 
and by the way I have a video on making your own stamps so check it out if you're interested it's really fun and I wanted to add another kind of font here another kind of text so I'm just using some guidelines to make it more straight and I'm writing let's have fun I'm just trying out some different pens because I want it to be yellow the word fun and I'm using a pen from graphics marabou um, for the yellow part and I'm just deciding to cha to shade the word a bit also with my ink tense pen from Der Derwent sorry for my <laughs> stuttering with my words you know English isn't my first language as you can tell and I'm just uh, distressing the edges a bit with my distress crayon from Tim Holtz it's kind of a brown nuance and I'm discovering that I want the word to be a bit more yellow so I'm using another pen from Panduro uh, and then I'm adding fun dots to it because I want it to look kind of fun and funky <laughs> let's have funky fun and splashing some black with my Posca pen and that is it it's really easy to make and I like the outcome and yeah you can make so many pretty things with those pretty rice papers and uh, and just some stamping and some some sprays and yeah so just try it for yourself it's so much fun I promise and don't be too critical critical or harsh with yourself just enjoy uh, yeah and if you enjoyed this please leave a like and a comment and of course subscribe to my channel if you like the content and have a nice day and bye.